Hi everyone, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I have another unboxing. As I said in a previous video when I showed my new Kipling purse, um, I got a bunch of packages, some smaller things and a couple of these bigger items, but it all came at once and I think the unboxings are fun to see. Um, so I decided to go ahead and do this one today also even though I should be in bed because it's late but that's okay we're going to do this so I, I opened it um, I, I started to take it out and then I thought wait I, I do want to do a um, unboxing a video of this I was going to just do it on my own but I'm excited about this Konkin um, Fjall Raven Konkin if I'm saying that right uh, for a couple different reasons, but this might be a fun little discovery together. So, the first thing that is so cool when I just tore it open a second ago was these little Swedish fish that they put in there. That is the cutest thing because this is a Swedish company. I thought I saw another one. Maybe it was just the um, packaging, but anyway, I think that's really cute. Um, this, oh yeah, there are more. There three Swedish fish. That is so fun. I have a few kids here that are probably going to want those tomorrow. And I'll probably share with them because I, I like them. I went back and forth of on color from the ox red to this ochre. And I decided to get the ochre because if you saw, didn't see my other video, I have ordered this Kipling purse. That's another whole thing. It's kind of, to me, similar to what that ox red might be like. I don't think this is as red looking. It might be a little more, um, I don't know, maroony, maybe a little bit more of a brown undertone, but close enough that I didn't want to just have a bunch of duplicate colors. Um, August. It was really a month for me of spending probably too much money. I have a small little job that I do, so I have some what my husband and I call my fun money. And he's always saying, it's okay, get it, that's why you have that little job. So I justified these purchases. But anyway, I'm going to do really good in September. I'm really going to be careful not spending too much it's really a trap you can fall into it's a fun trap but you you know you see stuff on youtube and you want it and anyway or you go browsing through amazon and there's a million things you suddenly need so i don't want to keep doing that i do want to save some more of the money that i earn anyway um blah 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 right this is the conkin sling this is the ochre and i purchased this with the thought of having something easy and lightweight to carry when I go on this trip next month. It's just going to be a, a overnight trip, uh, my husband and I, um, but we're going to go take a scenic train ride and eat out and do some, you know, walking and hiking around. So I wanted to have this and I thought that this could just be a fun little bag for journaling, just carrying the journaling stuff. If I go up to the library to do that or meet up with some friends, I can just put all my stuff in here. Not everything that I'm going to carry in the Kipling bag, which about fills up the whole entire screen there. This is great, and this has got more room than I even thought. So um, that's good for that purpose, or even like I said earlier, or a little bit of an overnight bag. But this is going to be narrow down streamlined stuff that I need when I go or I can just just a few things for on the go uh, anyway I'm kind of rambling aren't I so I'm gonna quit talking and open this up I watched a few videos on how to tell a authentic versus a fake or like a dupe Fjall Raven Konkin and I'm assuming I've got the real thing because I ordered ordered it through the Fjallraven Company U.S. 
So if it's their official site in the U.S., I'm hoping that they're selling a genuine product. But anyway, let's take a look. So one thing I heard is that this tag has a nicer twine, or I guess you'd call that a twine. That seems to be pretty sturdy. And it has a stiff feel. That's another thing. The fabric is stiff. And I'm really drawn to that. I like that. That might not appeal to some, but I, I like that substantial quality. And I think another thing that they said was that this tag would say on it, hang on, I'm going to turn on another light, see if this helps us. Maybe only slightly, but a little bit. Um, it says here, Konkin Sling, and it says Ochre. I don't know that they all do that, so um, I'm trying to remember. I don't have any notes in front of me. Another thing was that the zipper has Fjall Raven on it, and this does. And also that there's some kind of little knob or something on the zipper. Uh, well, I don't really see that, or maybe very slightly. But there's the little fox guy, and he's pointing to the left. That's supposed to be a sign, too. And this looks really pretty nicely sewn on there. That was another thing with the dupes that um, they're sloppily applied. So I think that the company, you know, they want their product to be nice and... So they have some standards on how th the real ones are supposed to be produced. Here's a little fox on that. And then the name of the company there again. And the fox here. So you, if you can see, he is facing down and towards the left. So as far as, I mean, I'm sure this is authentic because I ordered it from, like I said, the main company. Well, not the main company, the main U.S. company. Their headquarters, I guess you could call it. So I love this color. Um, it's called ochre, as I mentioned. Um, I've heard it described as like a deep yellow or golden yellow or a, a sort of mustardy yellow. That would definitely be how I would describe this. There's just a slight contrast with the handle of this, and I, I like how that makes it stand out a little bit. And then this is another feature, this W kind of sewn on quality. So that just supposed to uh, disperse the weight of what's being carried more easily, and also if it were a backpack, it has that feature as well, and that makes it, the weight on your back, more comfortable. Or so I am told. I am not an expert. I'm only saying what I have heard. There, that's a tight snap, but that's good. So that can go down here if you don't want to have that in the way. And as you can see, it opens up quite a bit. And then it has, instead of the backpack straps, it has... These are stiff at first they say, and then as you use them, things loosen up a bit, but I'm liking this. And this is another thing that um, is how you can tell a genuine versus a, a fake product is the sturdiness of this fabric. This is very, very sturdy, very stiff, very heavy duty feeling. The imitation ones, uh, it's a lot of I don't know, like, um, I'm trying to think of what to compare it to. I kind of think of, like, like that parachute stuff or, or whatever that fabric is called, but a lot more lightweight and more shiny looking. Maybe like an inexpensive backpack might be, or like a book bag, those string book, bag, book bags, maybe like that. But this is not that way. Also, and I'm happy to see this holding true as well, is how the inside seam is finished. So you don't have the raw edge. There's a seam taper, a seam binding that's on those raw edges. Okay, so it's 
it's kind of noisy, isn't it? As I'm jumbling around with that. So this opens up fairly deep. The other thing that I had been informed to watch for was this color insignia. Let me see if I can hold that up. Uh, I don't know if that's visible to you, but it's a uh, purveyor to the Royal Court of Sweden. So it's in color. And then there's this label and then the Swedish flag there. And again, just the seams, everything is really nicely sewn in here. It's, it has the look and feel of something that is meant to last and will hold up quite, uh, quite well. Okay, so this inside fabric is a little bit more of what I was talking about, where some have it as the outside fabric too. It's a little bit thinner, a little lighter weight, like an old windbreaker we used to call them, a lightweight jacket. Um, so there's a pocket there. A hand fits all the way down to the bottom, and this has a decent amount of space as well. So I'm thinking when we're on, out on our trip that I can easily get my wallet in here, my sunglasses. Those are like the main things that I want to carry with me. I want to switch between sunglasses and reading glasses or regular glasses, and I don't want to have to carry them. I want my hands free to pick up stuff in the store or, you know, check prices or whatever. Whatever you want to do with your hands when you're out and about and you don't want to have to hang on to stuff. So that could maybe fit here or in the front. The glasses could fit in either spot. There's a couple little pockets here. Very small there, but they would hold some pens. Um, I, I sometimes think, too, you could like hook your sunglasses over that and let them hang on the side there, but it might be safer in there. So it will definitely hold the bare necessities of a day, and I could put another thing I always have in my pocket is chapstick, but I could put it in here. Um, I would also maybe carry some mints or gum. That could fit in here. If you wanted a small water bottle, I think it'd be hard to get a very big one in there, but one of those little tiny ones or medium size would fit in there, which is probably something I would want if we were out walking around. So I think I could get all that stuff in there and maybe some odds and end things um, that I might carry in my bigger purse, uh, some makeup or something like that, or a nail file. The stip is, uh, is stiff here under the, on top of this zipper and others have said that these this does loosen up it kind of softens up as you use it but I like I said I like that it just feels like really sturdy and I, I like the substance to it I don't like things that kind of hold their own so in here Maybe a little coin area or an, a chapstick or your gum kind of stuff there. I might put in a couple stevia packets because I like to sweeten tea with stevia. So, you know, just kind of play around with it and see what actually will work out. But I think I'm really going to like this. It's um, what I expected. I love the color. It's such a nice golden, deep yellow I'm not sure um, ochre is what they're calling it. I don't know what to compare that to, but because um, I don't know ochre, but I do know mustard. <laughs> anyway, um, that relates. I can relate to that a little bit more. I think it's going to be great. And around town, if I'm going to meet up with somebody for coffee or whatever, or want to do some journaling somewhere, my couple of books that I do most of my journaling in would very easily fit in there and it would just be really fun not to carry books in my arm but to have them in a little case so that's handy like that and then like I said this I can put over my shoulder that works well and this will expand uh, this one expand the strap will get longer when you pull that down so it can be worn cross body as well so, yes, this was, this was fun. Maybe not the 
cheapest thing I've ever purchased, but I think it's going to be really used, really worth it, and really fun to have. And I just felt safer going through the U.S. Fjall Raven Company versus risking it on Amazon, which they may be perfectly fine, but a couple other people on YouTube said you can't be sure with Amazon. The thing about that, though, is if you have Amazon Prime, you can just send it back if you if you get one and it doesn't end up being um, an authentic or genuine one. And if you don't mind the imitation, that's fine, too. Um, but since that's part of the fun of this and having that little um, icon thing there, I wanted to make sure I got the real one, especially if you're spending maybe a more amount of money than you might normally on something like this. You want to get the real thing. So that's that's it. I, I'll put the two together. Here's my Kipling. And here's my Konkin. They both have these fun little round logo things. This one has a star. This one has a fox. I know they're both originally based in Europe. Um, that's kind of fun. This one has the gorilla. And this is just big. I talked about it in my earlier video today, but it's got a lot of room, so I'm really kind of thinking for just an overnight, it might carry all the stuff I need. I don't, don't want to pack heavily for an overnight trip, so I might be able to just throw everything in here and use this then more as a purse for, for that trip. But even when I'm not on a trip, these will get used. Um, I'm sure they're going to hold up well. They all... They both seem really nicely well-made products, so I, at this point, would, would recommend them if you're looking for a quality item that's going to hold up and take some, I don't want to say rough treatment, but not being overly careful with them. Whoops, that's not on stage. On stage. Gosh, it's late. Not on screen. Gee whiz. Okay, it's past midnight, so I probably better get some sleep. Church is tomorrow, and I don't want to be sleepy the whole day. Thank you for joining me. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these if you're familiar with either one of them. Um, how do you like to use your kankin or kankin or however you say it? Um, and what is your favorite color? I'm really liking this one. And um, if you've had yours for a while, what is the long-term opinion of it as you've used it? Has it been worth it? and has it held up as well as I'm expecting it to. I thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day tomorrow, and we'll see you next time. Bye.